Welcome to our trip to Bergen part 2. Warmly welcome if you are new and if we are family, thanks for continued support. This was the second day in Bergen. It is a beautiful morning, sunny, just perfect. I can say that it's our lucky day. You know why? Bergen is known for its rainy days the whole year round. The thing is, the wind that comes from the Atlantic Ocean moves the clouds which strikes the mountains surrounding the city. As a result, it rains almost all the time. Today we are going up the mountain called Floyam by using a popular funicular railway called Floybanen. This is one of the major tourist attractions and one of the most visited tourist places in Norway. On top of this mountain, there is magnificent views of the city and the ocean. The line has the length of 844 meters and the height difference is 302 meters. Floybanen was first started to be used in the year 1918. There are so many activities you can do up the floor, yeah? including restaurants and cafes, playgrounds for kids, a place to sit and enjoy the view, hiking forests, and also music concerts.
The dock is the series of heritage commercial buildings lining up the eastern side of the harbour in Bergen. Bergen city was found around the year 1070 within the boundaries of the dock. The dock was the important and popular trading centre for fish from the northern Norway and cereals from Europe. The dock was built by wood and it experienced a lot of fire accidents throughout its history. So in the year 1702, fire destroyed most of it, then it was rebuilt again. And some of these buildings from those years exist until, until today. I'm going to tell my coming to Europe story. My first time coming to Norway was the day I traveled out of Tanzania for the first time. I was looking forward to see the wonders of the world. Beautiful big cities I've ever seen, tall buildings to the clouds, shiny things, flying roads, and many strange things that I was dreaming all my life. I traveled through Netherlands and just before I landed to the airport, I looked down and I didn't believe what I saw. Big farms, forests, tiny houses and nothing else as I thought before. <laughs> Is this how Europe looks like? I asked myself. Okay, my point is, nothing gives life to the city than green plants and trees. It gives fresh air and bird sounds makes it much more natural and alive. A city with just buildings is so tiring to live in. Take note.
This is the third day in Bergen. Today we will drive to the beach and explore the area and maybe swim. If you look closely, you will see that the houses are built in a certain arrangement. Either certain color or pattern. There are strict rules when someone wants to build a house in Norway. So many things to consider like direction of it, the color, the height, even the positions to put doors and windows. It needs to be checked before building. The weather was cold, but my daughter will bath and swim anyway. After a walk and bathing, we went back to our hotel to rest. The fourth day was kind of a celebration day because me and my husband were supposed to celebrate our wedding in Tanzania. Because of COVID-19, we couldn't travel. But instead, we popped a champagne and enjoyed the day. And the fifth day, we traveled back home. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't seen part one, here is the link to it. Thanks again for your time. Until next time. Bye.